All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna be doing a singed top gameplay, a kind of a more AP based singed, but pretty tanky because our team has no tank. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm against the Trinomir, which is not a bad matchup for Singed actually. It's one of the better matchups. Um, I used to think it was in Trin's favor heavily, but Singed actually has the benefit of being able to pretty much push Trin out for a lot of the game. And Trin really can't do much. As long as you just don't take too terrible of trades, you should be okay. Like this trade right now, see how he's autoing me, but I'm going to get way more use out of that trade because I have all these minions that are just BD on him. So... I'm just gonna keep pushing it up, and um, that's how I'm gonna trade with him. I'm just gonna push him up, and yeah. There's a couple other ways you can do it too. You can also let him push out to your tower, and uh, you can fling him into your tower when he tries to get too close, which is great. But I like this playstyle, especially early on when Trin has no items because um, he's kind of vulnerable early on. He really is. So yeah, because the creeps are gonna hit be hitting him, and I'm gonna be hitting him, and. Uh, yeah, see, he's not really having a good time right now. And, uh, okay, so Yasuo was originally top, by the way. Yasuo was our top laner, and he was AFK in the champ select. But I just picked Singed, and I was like, you're going mid. Because Yasuo against Trin is not a good matchup for Yasuo. So I took the, uh, kind of took the bull by the horns on that one. And I told him that he's going to go to the mid lane. That's pretty much it. Like, I didn't, there was no arguing. It was just, you're going mid, so... Yeah, and I tried to I tried to deny the cannon there. I think he still got it. Um, and also, I'm running Ghost Flash this game. You may have noticed. I think Ghost Flash is actually really really good. Um, my I used to run Flash. Or I used to run Ghost uh, Cleanse. That was like my Trin build or my Singe build back in like season one. But um, I also used to run this too back in season one. Uh, Flash Ghost. And the main thing is, is that you get high mobility. And, um, I think I'm just going back here. You get really high mobility, and you have the ability to kind of engage and also make flashy plays, if you will. But, um, yeah, so, like, you can flash, engage, and initiate on, like, a squishy target, and that could be a really good thing. Um, the problem with our team comp, though, is we're probably not going to be able to pick most fights because our team comp is just not good. We have two assassins. Um, and we have some peel, but I'm pretty much going to be having to choose which fights our team's going to take because, um, oh, I should have eat that, but oh well. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, like, we're not going to have the best ability to, uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to ghost that. I'm just going to flash ghost that just for extra deeps. I don't know if, like, I don't, ah, oh, and I shouldn't have flash ghosted that. That was dumb. I should have waited on the fling too. That was bad. I could have played that way better. It's okay though. He has nothing right now. He has no sustain really to speak of. He's out Warlord as well as us, but oh, that was that was really dumb though. I shouldn't have blown both my sums there. I gotta be really safe now. He's dancing, but he has nothing to get back to lane either. So he's actually pretty screwed right now. Yeah, he's just gonna be taking a lot of damage from my poison right there. He might actually be dead. No, he's not gonna dead. He's not gonna dead. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, he actually is. He has a level advantage. I'm gonna be five though, and it's like, that's good. He's not really CSing that well though. He's getting kind of zoned out here. Try the problem is he has knight too. I gotta remember that he's got a knight, and um, yeah, he could like ignite all of me there, but. At least you have to make a move here though, because we're not gonna have much time after this. Okay, I gotta try to push this out best I can. Completely dry though. He could actually go on me here. The problem is, is that. Oh nice, he got him. Wow, okay, sweet. I don't know what he's doing, but. I was gonna say, okay, that guy's dead. Uh, I was gonna say the problem with me being there is that he could, like, kind of try to burst me with Ignite and, like, a flash or something. I don't know, but. It worked out, so um, yeah. I'm gonna go for some armor stacking. I want to go AP, but some early armor against Trin's really good. I'm not really sure what item build I'm gonna go for. Maybe FH would be good against Lucian and Trend, but not so much good against the rest of their comp. So I'm not really sure yet. 
exactly what we're gonna do. Also, this ELO is like plat three, um, somewhere around there. And really unfortunately, right when I started doing this, there's some Pokestops that got lures on them and they're all next to each other and it's lit up and I really wanna be over there right now, but I am stuck in this game, unfortunately. Which is okay, I guess. I'm actually just gonna ult and then just all in right now. He's basically taking, oh, unfortunately I talked my poison twice. And I messed up there. But he's taking kind of a, like, this is kind of his all-in, like, or... I forced him to all-in me, basically. And as you can see, I win the all-in exchange pretty hard. And he's... He have to blow his ult. Yeah, he has to blow his ult there, for sure. No, he doesn't, actually. Really close to having ult, though. So, yeah, he he's at 22 CS. I'm actually just dumpstering him so hard right now. But this is pretty much how you dumpster a trend, dude. You just keep pressuring him. And especially because he has no teleport, too. He went ignite, so he could, um... Pressure me, I guess, with Ignite, but it's not really working out for him. And I'm going to try to make him ult here in a sec for the cannon. The cannon was bait. Okay, so he went for the cannon. I could have denied him from the cannon. I didn't, but um, yeah. Notice how I'm putting poison around those minions so he can't get to them without taking damage. The idea here is that his sustain is not as good as how much damage my poison does. So... And that's actually really, really good. So he's at 24 CS and at 56 CS, which means, essentially, in League of Legends terms, he's getting dumpstered. That's pretty much uh, what's happening right now. I'm not really sure how my team's doing. I'm not really paying attention to them, though. The idea is that, hopefully, if my team can survive, we'll have a good team fight. That's the, that's the main thing. So um, if you watch my stream, I do focus. I feel like I focus too much on my team. I need, to, I need to really focus more on what I do because um, I enjoy the game more when I'm focusing on what I'm doing anyways. So yeah, okay, we're gonna go for a Catalyst, I think. Catalyst is really good on Singe now, uh, mainly because they changed it a while back. And so any damage that you take, you... Okay, 15% of the damage taken from champions is gained as mana, okay? And then spending mana restores 20% of that cost as health up to 15 per, 15 per spell cast. So, I I'm not actually 100% on this because I haven't played I haven't played much Singed at all. Um, even since the new patch, I really haven't played them. Or since they've updated Catalyst, rather, I haven't really changed them that much or played them that much. But yeah, I'm actually just gonna all in them here. I think I think I can take a good all in. This this is gonna be a good trade. The the thing is, what he doesn't realize is that he's actually about to lose this trade really hard, and he actually might have to ult. I, I'm gonna try to get him to ult here. If I can make him ult. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna kill him. He's gonna die for sure, 100%. He will die. He has, he has his flash up, but I have my flash as well. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, so this is how you dump on a trend, dude. I took this match with. Actually, I haven't laned a trend in a long time, but um, this is definitely not a bad lane for Singe though. Like I, I've played this lane as trend before, and it's, I've done okay, but like. It's really, um, you get pressured all game and you end up, like, you can, as a trend, you can carry, like, super late game, but that's assuming you're farming, like, this This guy's really falling behind a farm, um, so, yeah, I don't know. He's probably not going to carry in the late game. Okay, I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab a Blasting Wand. That's going to allow me to pressure the trend even harder. Um, I don't really need a Catalyst yet. Crap, where is it? Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't have enough gold for it, that's why I couldn't see it. Uh, another thing is that usually I max W, but I might consider maxing E in this matchup, mainly because of the fact that I get more damage and I can trade harder. Although with W, the thing about W though is I can actually stick on him harder. The rank 1 slow from W is 35%, rank 2 slow from W is 45%, and you may not notice like the power of W until you played a few Singe games. Like I probably played, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, Singe used to be my most played champ. If you guys don't know me, who I am, basically, um, Teemo is my most played by, like, by far. Most played, I probably played a couple thousand games of Teemo. Um, but Singe is my second most played by far. Like, I played Singe when I was a gold scrub. I played a crap load of Singe, and then I switched to Teemo um, a while after that. But I played a lot of Singe. Back in beta, beta, whatever, it was me, Dyrus, and this other guy. We were the three Singe players, and... Um, we were the three best Singe players at a high low. Like, we we played the most Singe. Like, we would just play Singe. We were known as the Singe players. That's pretty much us. So, 
um yeah that was that was beta that was that was season one beta whatever Dyrus was probably the most known singe but um because he played it long after i stopped playing it and uh yeah and there was another guy pattern i don't know if i said his name but i think his name was pattern or Patton or something i totally forget his name it's it's something like that though and he he was the ghost flash singed and he would always run at ghost flash and I would run it too sometimes, but I, I like Cleanse better on Singed back in the day because um, Cleanse used to be broken. Cleanse used to be completely broken. I gotta remember to keep pressuring him. My Poison actually does a lot of damage. I shouldn't underestimate how much damage it does. These trades are really good for me. Like, he's getting low just off the trades. So, yeah. I gotta remember to just keep trading. And then I think what I'm gonna do next, next uh, wave is I'm gonna all in him with my ultimate up. I should be able to force him off the tower. I'm not gonna go for the kill. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna force him to ult. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So that's a good chunk of damage right there. He's not gonna be able to sustain that for sure. If our touch ran off, and then he's gonna have to back off these. I don't know where Mumu is, but I do have Ghost Flash, so I can pretty much get out probably. If Mumu does come, it might have been beneficial to run cleanse this game to be honest. You have to. Run away from that. Alright. So that's good. We're forcing the jungler to come top. It's really good. It was a pretty good um, lane hold by Mumu though. I think what we'll do here is we'll try to we'll try to act like we're back. But really not. Actually, you know what? No, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna push this out. Because we don't want Trin to get any sustain off this wave. I think he'll he will be able to stay, but we'll just buy. That's fine. Because we have no pots or anything left. What's gonna end up happening? Oh, I missed the cannon, unfortunately. What's gonna end up happening though is we're gonna back and then Trin's gonna be stuck here with no items and we'll have a fresh batch of items. Actually, we'll wait for Rod of Ages, to be honest, because there's really well, see the problem but the problem with waiting for Rod right now is that we're not pressuring Trend and he's actually getting sustained back up. Which is bad. We don't want that. Does this give mana regen? It does It does give mana regen, okay, and it gives health regen too. I don't know, like Dude, I mean, I know what it used to do, but I don't know what it does anymore. Like, they've changed they changed a lot of stuff, so... Um, if I ask, like... If I ask what, what his stuff does, it's not because I don't know what it used to do. It's just that Lee changes so much. Like, Lee changes on a daily basis, so it's like... I don't know what things do um, based on the day. You know, the day of the week, like, maybe Amumu's ult now makes everyone dance in a circle or something. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. So, yeah. Like, the game just completely changes all the time and so he's stuck basically he's stuck here with no items like he cannot buy items basically so by the time we get back to lane he's got the back and he's gonna miss a full wave probably or something we could probably get that tower too we can start roaming maybe which would seem to be really good i think because um yeah like this is not good we need to start helping our team for sure because yeah moon was 303 which is bad and bot lane is kind of feeding so we want to get out of this lane as soon as possible and we want to influence lanes although we can't really gank an annie which kind of sucks annie's really really hard to gank because she gets a lot of bonus stats with her e she gets a uh, bonus magic resist and a bonus armor so it's really hard to kill her but we probably can do it i just need to get a little tankier probably so yeah as you can see this guy's items he has no items he has to get a gank like there's nothing he can do right now i'm just gonna be able to bully him off tower non-stop the idea here is just to keep him here as long as possible and not let him buy it without him losing a crap load of uh, minions. He's gonna have to lose a crap load of minions here. I maybe should have considered maxing my E because um, I'm just gonna go for it. Because Kha'Zix is coming. If I can blow his ult here, that's really, really good. I'm just gonna try to blow his ults. Got his ult down. And he's probably gonna be dead here. I don't know where Annie is. Okay, Annie's. Mid still. Nice. Okay, we got his thing. He's going to be dead. He's got no ult. So he's in fact 100% dead. I want to blow some. Yeah, there's no way he got out of that one. Absolutely no way. And I don't know if a turret side. Yo, kill the turret. Kill the turret. We get a first blood turret. This is really good. Oh, crap. Don't die, though. Don't die to the turret. Okay, if we get a first blood turret, though, we get an extra, like, 350 gold, I think. If that patch has gone through, I'm pretty sure it's gone through. Yeah, yeah, it has. So check this out, you guys. We're about to get first blood turret. This is really good. I need help. I need help, dude. Oh crap, he's not gonna let us get this. I'm pretty sure this is Mumu's red patch notes. He's not gonna let me get this first blood turret, is he? 
I'm going for it though. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to back off, but I want it so bad, dude. Damn, I want that first blood turret. Oh well, we'll get it later, hopefully. But first blood turret gives you a bunch of gold, dude. It gives you like a crap load of gold. I don't know how much, but I think it's like 400 gold to your team or something just for getting the first turret. So we're really gonna want that turret really badly. And um, okay, so I think we're gonna rush a FH this game, or maybe this thing is actually really good against Trin. The problem with going this thing though is that a lot of the team is magical. Yeah, I have to fight the Amumu and the Annie, which is like this doesn't really affect that much. Um, and partly the fact that they have such a mixed composition, I have to go more MR. Like I'm gonna have to go sp uh, Spirit Visage next, because and I can't go Rylize because they have too much uh, mixed damage. So if I go Rylize, I'm gonna get killed by their AP like way too quickly. And I know my ult gives me bonus stats, but not enough. And he's got too much burst, and Mumu kills tanks like uh, there's no tomorrow, so. So yeah, I really want this guy's turret. Um, and I'll show you guys how much gold I get. Well, like I'm at 600 gold right now. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try too hard for it because I don't think there's really too much of a rush for it. Just thinking about the first blood turret, it, it makes me really thirsty for the turret, but hopefully we won't lose mid. Are we okay? Mid's full, okay, really good. Okay, so I just want to see. I'm gonna fling that. I don't want to. I don't want to waste my fling, but, oops. But uh, yeah, it's worth. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it, dude. Okay, I'm at eight. I'm at 900 gold. I'm just gonna slow him. He can't do anything. 900 gold. I got. I got so much gold, dude. How much? I got. I went from 900 to 1600 gold right there. I'm actually just gonna ghost. If he if he flashes, okay, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna trade my flash for his ghost. That's fine. I could have all in him there, but he was too close to his tower when he flashed, so it was like not really worth for me to do that. So I got so much gold there, dude. I got 900 to 1600. That was 700 gold for killing one tower. That's insane. Like, I feel like that's kind of dumb. I'm, I don't really complain too much, but okay. Like if you think about it though, I already have a lead on this guy. And now I just got an extra huge lead. Like that just makes snowballing even more of a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like I think snowballing was a problem before, but now I think it's even more of a problem because now I get my FH in one buy. I might actually go randomness to be honest. I'm not sure if FH is the best. I'm gonna go randomness because it gives me a bunch of health, and so does FH. But it, randomness gives me a lot more health. That's the main thing. And I can I have a slow that I can activate, which is really good. Um, I'm gonna try to force dragon here. Although I know my ult, so I gotta be kind of careful because I will get melted. Like I know I have 2,600 health, but I will still get melted. Uh, fortunately, this Karma rushed a Locket, which is really, really smart against her team comp. Really, really smart. Although, she's not as tanky as she thinks. And we have no Yasuo here, which is like, I don't know what they're doing, dude. I have no idea what they're doing. Like, you don't fight without Yasuo. And I'm, the only reason I'm here is because they're getting caught. Like, I wouldn't even be here. I got, I'm got i getting chunked, like, way too hard. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't even be here if they weren't getting caught. Like, I would not have even taken damage. Like, it's so easy for them just to have watched where where our Yasuo was in that in that fight. Like, all they had to do was just not engage till Yasuo got there. We would have won the fight. But instead, they engaged without watching, and we lose the fight. It's just, like, low elo. This is, like, typical low elo play right here. We have complete pressure, and we can force... They just have, All they have to do right there is wait for Yasuo to get there. That's all they have to do. It's that simple, dude. Um, I mean, it, it may sound like I'm being harsh on this guy, but, like, all they had to do was just wait, dude, so I don't know. I mean, I don't want to talk about what my teammates are doing too much, but that was definitely a situation where I needed them to just wait for the guy. But it's all good. I didn't go in. I didn't get caught, so that's all I can do and ask them to pay more attention next time because, um, yeah, we should have definitely been able to fight that. All right, so I'm going to back here. And I think, I don't know, dude. I'm just going to try to pressure, like, maybe mid, but I don't know. We're going to have to see. Let's see. I'm going to grab some MR. I'm kind of regretting not running teleport, to be honest, because I feel like I could be in these fights. But Ghost Flash to me is going to be better later on when we do end up grouping as five. It's just that teleport would be really nice. Hopefully they can get out there. That'd be really good. But yeah, I'm not going to pay attention to them as much, dude. I'm just going to keep pressuring this trend. Hopefully, I can keep pressuring him. 
Um, I'm not gonna let him catch back up and farm. That's mainly it. Cause he is, he is gonna catch back up if I just let him free farm. I'm not sure who tried to surrender there either. That was really, really uh, questionable because we have a two kill advantage. We have a good team comp too. It's not like we have a bad team comp, so there's no reason to FF there. That was kind of questionable. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm not gonna let Trin use red. There's no way. I'm actually gonna pressure this red. I need I need help to pressure this red. This is what we can do to, to um, give ourselves an advantage here. Kha'Zix needs to come over here. I need Kha'Zix to like contest this. Not Yasuo. Well, Yasuo can come, but Kha'Zix needs to come first. I'm just gonna pressure Trin actually for now. I'm just gonna keep pressuring him and just keep splitting on him. Hopefully our Kha'Zix will rotate up though. There's really no reason to get mid right now. There's no reason to get mid. We can just... Okay, actually I'm gonna get mid right now. They shouldn't be forcing a 2v2 though. I'm pretty sure they lose that. Just kidding. They actually win that really hard. Okay, I actually am completely, completely unaware of like what's going on. Yeah, just take the turrets, take everything, and take all their buffs. Okay, I thought they would lose that, to be honest. Because it seems like any Amumu would be able to team fight Or 2v2 that. But this guy actually uses spin, so I'm just going to stick on him for a little bit. He's really fast, though, because of his PD. But yeah, so this train is hopefully just going to be sitting here and doing nothing the entire game. While my team just, like... Hopefully doesn't get beat too hard. Until I can group with them. That would be ideal. They just gotta be really careful though, because this solution is really, really strong, I think. MF's 2 6, yeah, like, we gotta be really wary of that Lucian. Nice, okay, they took him out. Four, took four of us to take him out though. They finally took him out, that's really good. I think I'm gonna go for his red right now, because he's backed. I think this is the best idea to go for his red. Take, take it, take it. Actually, I could take this for the health regen, but I don't think it's all that good. Kazi should rotate up here for sure, though, to con to make sure we secure it. What are you doing? What is he doing? He could have just ran to the red, and he could have just taken the red for free. And now Amumu's going to smite it, probably. Hopefully not, though. Nice. Okay, I got it. See, that was just questionable, dude. Like, a good Kha'Zix would have just rotated up to the red right there. That was a free red. Instead, he, like, tried to fight the Amumu with, like... The Kha'Zix had, like, 30% health, and the Amumu had, was, like, full health, I think, right? I don't even know, dude. This is, like... A plat three that's plat three decision making right there because we're in a position where like all we have to do is just not do dumb stuff and that was just an example of like some dumb stuff that you just don't have to do so um yeah i'm really overextended here but i have ghost flash i don't think they're coming for me but if they do then oh well dude i'll we'll have to blow both my summits and get out but yeah i think i'm okay i'm actually just gonna pressure this guy right now because i think i can push him away from the lane with my red especially the main thing is just to make sure that I don't let this trend free farm. Like, that's the main issue. Because allowing this guy to free farm would be really bad. So that's a good trade right there. That's red buff and some uh, poison damage. Not bad. And I have red buff. If you guys didn't know, the new red buff, it gives you uh, health regen after you're out of combat for a little while. So any trades I do, I can just sustain back up. Yo, good job, bot lane. Good job, Yasuo. But yeah, like, it looks like my team's doing pretty well right now. Um, and you may be thinking, like, why post this gameplay if your team's gonna be doing that well, but in reality, like, um, it actually, there's actually some merit to this game, because even, even if my team was doing bad, we could still turn the, the main idea is we could still turn the game to our favor, because we have an okay team comp, because of my singed, uh, pick. Now, if I picked, like, something crappy, also, if I was gonna beat by this trend, this game would be a different story, guys, by the way, because trim would probably be, like, level 17, maybe I'd be getting, I'd be feeding, whatever, and my team would have to send people top for him. So the fact that I'm pressuring him this hard um, still is actually really good. I'm actually just going to keep pressuring him. I ran in there just to get this some slow off. Because I my goo kind of missed. And hopefully I can get his ult here. That would be really, really um, good if I can get his ult. Okay, good. I, I'm pushing him off the wave, which is really good. The fact that he's not, not able to sustain means that he's not going to be... Um, what the hell? I thought he... I thought he um, had his ult up. I guess not, though. Because he definitely would have ulted before he flashed, right? So, I guess his ult wasn't up. Wasn't really paying much attention. I guess I procked it earlier. The problem with me doing commentary is, like, I'm really unfocused on, like, small details like that. So, I mean, I think... I don't know. I guess I just wasn't watching the projectile of his ult.
but it didn't really seem like he had to ult, so it's kind of strange. Um, and okay, so I have options here. I could go ZZ Rod, I could go this thing and this thing, but Spirit Vistage is just way better against the mixed composition. They have a mixed comps of damage. They have Lucian, they have um, Annie, they have Umumu, and Trin. These damage dealers right here, these four damage dealers, it's it's basically a super mixed composition. You have two AP, you have two AD. Amumu is fairly tanky, but he also does a lot of AP damage. He also does percentage damage with his W, so he shreds tanks. So you have to itemize some MR against him, or he's just going to shred you. So that's pretty much it. But yeah, let's uh, try to dive this guy for sure. I'm pretty sure he has no ult still, I guess. I'm actually just going to flash or ghost on him. I'm pretty sure he's going to flash out. Uh, Yasuo didn't ult that. He should have. My poison wasn't up. My poison should have been up, but it wasn't, unfortunately. And... Okay, he had ult up still. That's so strange. Maybe it just came up. Maybe that was it. I'm gonna try to tank this for the, the guy. Okay, nice. Oh, nice. I got him. Barely I was at the end. I was kind of trying to wait. Oh, crap. My ult. My ult was not up the whole time. Wait, I think it was on cooldown. I think that's why. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just tanking this guy. Like, he did no damage with his Q. And, um, Annie, yeah, is not really a problem at this point. Because I'm so tanky. I have 3.6k health. And the good thing about Singe, I have 242 AP, which is really good. And I have 258 armor and 200 MR, which is fantastic. So you're going to fling that guy in. Usually you don't want to fling a Trin into your backline, but in this situation, it's probably okay. Am I recording, by the way? I hope I'm recording, dude. It's unfortunate if I wouldn't be. Uh, sometimes it's been it's been messing up a little bit lately. Okay, they have that. All right, so that was pretty much it, guys. That was the uh, the uh, season one, the Rain Man Singe. Let me know if you guys like that one. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more Singed. I I'd probably not be playing much more Singed. Um, and the Elo, my Elo on this account is really low. Like I've been kind of I've been testing a lot of random stuff, and it's I'm like low. I was zero LP plat four, but the Elo. I don't think the Elo of everybody is as low as uh platform because i'm getting 22 points a win which is i think it's a lot let's see yes let's see the uh trends okay he's gold too. <laughs> okay well it wasn't the best it wasn't the best uh trend let's see mine let's see the uh okay yas was gold one all right well it wasn't the best elo gameplay guys but um it is a gameplay nonetheless and it is a ranked gameplay so <laughs> i'll give myself that um, and yeah, I'm gonna try to get this count a little higher so that we can uh, get some better quality gameplays for you guys. But um, overall, let me know if you liked it. Let me know if the elo was just too low and it was just like eh, cringe or whatever. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.